Okay, this video has been long overdue. I think majority of you know what TV this is. Of course, it's uh, LG's C10 2020 television, 48 inch. Uh, some people are using this OLED panel. It's a self-emitting organic light emitting panel. Some people are using this as a PC monitor and I don't blame them. Uh, I'm easily using it as a PC monitor. Clearly, you can see here. What's the benefit? Well, you got OLED, number one, which gives you a best possible picture quality at the moment. And then you have native 4K with high dynamic range and Dolby Vision where it's available. And on top of that, you have a 120 hertz refresh rate that's available with 4K and HDR. And on top of all of that, you also have a G-Sync and a game response uh, option, which I'm going to show you right here in a minute. By the way, this is maximum, uh, not, not maximum settings, I'm sorry. This is my PC, and I'm using a, obviously, Flight Simulator 2020. Everything is set to high settings at 4K, native 4K, and HDR. There is HDR. It's turned on. I'm going to show it to you in a minute. But before we go any further, I want to show you uh, my settings that I'm using currently on my game mode HDR. OLED Light 100. Contrast 100. Brightness 50. Sharpness 15. A lot of people ask me why sharpness 15. Because this is a... Uh, 40 inch, 48 inch OLED 4K TV, and I think sharpness 15 is just the right spot to keep that nice, beautiful, smooth picture quality. Color at 50. Of course, color at 50 because we don't want to oversaturate. We want to keep it uh, in a nice, balanced level, natural level. All right, this is what I was talking about, instant game response. This is the beauty about having HDMI 2.1, which consists of uh, 40 uh, gigabits per second. That gives you that transfer data between your device and your TV. And having that extra transfer of data much faster, faster uh, transfer of data gives you the ability to utilize a 30 millisecond response time to utilize 120 hertz refresh rate with HDR and 4K. And uh, that's the beauty about this television, to be used as a monitor. Now, I have showed you the settings. I have showed you all of this. Now it's time to jump into a video game to see how well it looks, shall we? All right, so here we go. We are ready to uh, rock and roll. This looks just amazing in HDR, man. Uh, I'm going to change the weather. I'm going to keep it clear so you guys can have a better view. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. We're going to do a clear skies. And I want you guys to enjoy this. Once we uh, take off, you will see how just how beautiful this will look. Maybe I can zoom in a little bit, just a little bit, slightly a little bit like that. There we go. And you will see once I take off, just how beautiful everything is. You will see in a moment. All right, let me move uh, the weather. Let me uh, move up the time. Here we go, 12.56, clear skies. Look at that, beautiful, ain't it? All 
Again, please remember, even though I'm recording this in 4K, it's really impossible for camera lens to depict what this panel is showing in real life with my own two eyes with high dynamic range. But it will give you some idea that it looks fantastic. And this is what you're gonna see on the Xbox Series X. What I'm doing right now, it's exactly what you're gonna see on the X Series X. Uh, I don't think you're gonna see anything better, quite honestly. When they implement real-time ray tracing, the PC will have a uh, real-time ray tracing as well. Most likely, the PC version will get the real-time ray tracing faster than the console version. And <clears throat> this looks just amazing. OLED is the best panel currently. I have tested a bunch of games uh, on this uh, TV. I still have a bunch of stuff to test on this TV, but this is no brainer guys if you're uh, looking for a television to go with your PlayStation 5 or your X Series X this is it LG C10 48 inch this is it man don't look for anything other than this I'm telling you oh this is amazing no Samsung QLED is going to give you this type of quality, the way this OLED is doing. And these types of features, fully loaded with features, man. No Samsung QLED is going to give you that. Trust me. Oh, this is just beautiful, man. It's realistic. It looks super realistic, man. I don't know what else to say. And I'm really proud of my 2060 Super, what it's able to achieve, and my Ryzen, uh, no, my i7 processor, 9th generation, with 16 gigs of RAM. Actually, 32 gigs, I'm sorry. 32 gigs of RAM. I apologize. Let's go inside the cockpit just to, uh, to see how... HDR here is just... As you would expect it it really adds to uh, the lighting and the contrast it just adds to more realism let's mix it up here a little bit hold on let's uh, change the weather let's put uh, scattered clouds let's uh, put some lightning over here And uh, oh, look at that! Now that that looks even more amazing. Beautiful. Well, there you have it, guys. This video is going to end. It's recorded in 4K. Uh, remember, it's a one thing you seeing this in video, and it's a whole other thing you seeing this in person. When you bring that OLED TV to your house, when you first connect it, you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. But this will give you some idea, I guess. We'll give you some ideas as to. Uh, just how marvelous it looks all right guys well there you have it i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions just leave a comment down below thank you and please use those settings that i just used here